Day zero, or initial receipt date, is one of the most important concepts in pharmacovigilance. The clock for submission of a valid case report starts as soon as the information containing the minimum criteria has been brought to the attention of any personnel of the pharma company or the marketing authorization holder, including medical representatives and contractors. This date is considered as day zero. It is necessarily the clock start date. It decides the due date for submission of reports, as per the regulatory timelines. The timelines for submission are based on calendar days, and not business days. Day zero is the first day when a marketing authorization holder gets knowledge of a valid case report, irrespective of whether the information is received during a weekend or public holiday. We will now discuss about the initial receipt date, in case of medical literature, or publications. For case reports identified in the medical literature the clock starts with awareness of a publication containing the minimum criteria. Day zero is the date on which an organization becomes aware of a publication containing the minimum information for an ICSR to qualify for submission. In case of service provider, the day zero is the date the search was run if the minimum criteria are available in the abstract. It is necessarily not the date the information was supplied to the organization. Day zero for the submission of an adverse reaction present in an abstract is taken to be the date on which the search was conducted. For articles that have been ordered as a result of literature search results, day zero is the date when the minimum information for an ICSR to be valid is available. Organizations should take appropriate measures to obtain articles promptly in order to confirm the validity of a case. We will now discuss about the day zero implications, in case of follow-up, or receipt of additional information about any case report. When additional significant information is received for a previously submitted case, the clock for the submission of a follow-up report starts again from the date of receipt of the relevant follow-up information. For the purpose of submission of case reports, significant follow-up information corresponds to new medical or administrative information that could impact on the assessment or management of a case, or could change its seriousness criteria. Day zero is an important concept, and should be considered during the general pharmacovigilance training for all company personnel.